Indira Priyadarshini. The world knew her as Indira Gandhi. To the multitudes of this country, Indira was India, the darling leader who identified herself so totally with their fate and fortune. Like a rock, she stood behind them. And like a rock, people stood behind her. Born into one of the most highly political families of India, her entire childhood and youth was spent in the context of the freedom movement. Her public activity entered a new phase with India's independence. Taking over as the president of the Congress marked Indira Gandhi's entry into the political mainstream. When Jawaharlal Nehru died in May 1964, Lal Bahadur Shastri, who assumed office as Prime Minister, persuaded Indira Gandhi to join his cabinet. January 1966. Following Lal Bahadur Shastri's death, Indira Gandhi was sworn in as the Prime Minister of India. She pledged herself anew to the nation's ideals, to democracy and secularism, to planned economic and social advance, to peace and friendship among nations. Now, what was the motive force behind her relentless work spread over 16 years? She dreamed of building a dynamic society and securing a better life for the Indian people. If one attempts to trace the contours of a contribution, the beginning should be with a crusade against hunger and poverty. Poverty is the most degrading experience of human existence, she said. Therefore, the number one priority of planning was removal of poverty. The slogan of Garibi Hatao, I think, captured...